Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe that I grew up on and um, it is chicken tanola. I have been eating this all my life and I'm going to show you two ways to cook it. It's still the same basic recipe, but there are several different vegetables and you will enjoy it. So let's get to the recipe. Um, one to two pounds chicken wings or chicken thighs. And so I have already prepared a little bit of the chicken wings in this big pot. And then I have another pot here for the chicken thighs. Uh, two cups of water, um, one finger length ginger. You got a picture of the ginger? Yeah. Kai's decided to help me out today. So uh, that's one finger length ginger. All right. The next thing Kai is one tomato, but today we have a whole bunch of tiny tomatoes, but so we'll use that instead. Thank you, Kai. Um, one half onion. All right, so I diced up these onions. All right, thank you. Okay, a handful of spinach. So I got these spinach from the market. I like these because it still has the stems. There's something about crunching on the stems that tastes really good. All right, um, one bitter melon for pot number one. Let's check out that bitter melon. So this is the special ingredient that I wanted to try out in Tanola. I didn't really grow up with eating tanola with this, but it's such a healing vegetable that I think that um, we're gonna try it out, all right? <clears throat> Let's see what's next. And number two, pot number two is a shayoti squash. All right, there you go, shayoti squash. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm gonna turn on the fire. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I already have done here. <laughs> So what I already have done is I browned both chickens. So I already had browned this chicken, chicken thighs, and I put in the ginger. Okay, so I browned the ginger and I cooked the onions just a little bit. So you see it's already browned. And the same with the chicken wings. I already browned the chicken wings, put in the onions, and put in the ginger. So that way, before you put in the water, you get um, some good, like, I guess, marinade or some seeping of the ginger into the chicken. So that's a good method to do for your tanola. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Get it started. Okay. So after browning the, the chicken and um, everything, I'm gonna go ahead and have Kai pour in the water. So go ahead and pour in the water. So each one is about two cups, but we'll just estimate. All right, be careful when you pour it in, son. Okay, that's okay, keep going. Okay, let me get the other one that seems to be spilling. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the other one. And whether it's two cups or three cups, the most important thing is that you get good coverage in the chicken. So at least the top half of the chicken to be covered in the water. Okay, so I'm going to position the camera just a little bit here. Okay, so you can see how the water took well and already absorbed some of the browning of the onions, the, the chicken, uh, and the ginger. Okay. All right, so the next thing I wanna do for pot number one. Okay, this is my pot, this is a pot, this is a healing pot for moms that just need a little bit healing and more you know, minerals and stuff to run the household and run the day, take the kids everywhere. So I want to add for my pot, which is these chicken thighs that you see, is the bitter melon. So let's go ahead and add the bitter melon, Kai. All right, do you wanna try some of this one with the bitter melon? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Thank you, Kai. Oh my gosh, that's looking good already and it's not even cooked yet. 
<laughs> okay, so we're going to put that on a little bit higher so I can get some boiling out of it before I have to end the video. Okay, so that's pot number one. Pot number two, shiote squash, Kai. This is your pot. This is the one that you like. All right, let's get that in. Woo, splash. Okay. And then both pots get a little bit of uh, tomatoes in them. So why don't you go ahead and put in the tomatoes. Like half and half? Mm -hmm. looking good so far so so the important thing about Filipino cooking in the stews is we use a lot of fish sauce but um, my new way of cooking is no fish sauce in the stew so a typical stew like this would probably call for about three teaspoons or so of fish sauce but we are not going to do that today. So we are gonna replace the fish sauce with just plain old salt. And um, so for these two recipes, we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt in each pot. So Kai, you wanna do the honors? Mm -hmm. Want to show the show them your salt? <laughs> okay, another one, and then this one two teaspoons. Okay, doing good job. You have a steady hand, son. Okay, and then one half teaspoon pepper in each one. Where is that pepper? Okay, I'll look for the pepper. Okay, we can't find the pepper right now, but we'll be putting it in for sure. But one half teaspoon pepper for this, all right? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back down to the stew. Oh, you got the pepper? Oh, okay, so one half teaspoon pepper. So roughly just a half of that. A little bit more. Okay, one half teaspoon pepper, thank you. See if we have completed the recipe. One to two pounds of chicken in each pot. Two cups of about two cups of water in each pot. One finger length ginger in each pot. About one tomato in each pot. One half onion, and then the final ingredient will be the spinach. We'll put that in at the very end, though. But pot number one, this has a bitter melon. This is my pot. And pot number two has a shiote squash. And I'm going to show you a close-up of this squash. And it takes a while for this to cook. But I actually find these at um, all the Asian stores. But I have found them at Ralph's and the um, regular grocery stores. So it's about a dollar each. I typically put about two cut-up ones in each stew. And then of course, two teaspoons salt, and then one half teaspoon pepper in each, spot, in each pot. And that definitely replaces the fish sauce or patis. So I definitely like patis, but I will be putting it on after the fact. I will not be putting it into the stew. And that's what makes these stews different from the original tenola from the motherland that we are just replacing the patis with just regular salt, okay? 
And uh, sometimes there's no way around the salt. We don't want to be eating um, stew that is tasteless, I guess, but um, just in moderation. And this will be my meal prep for um, work and a busy day, kind of just running the kids around and doing my thing. So I won't run into the local fast food restaurant that is right across the street from me, literally, that I could just go ahead and grab these delicious home-cooked meals first. Ain't that right, Kai? Yeah. Are you learning a lot from these videos? Yeah. All right. So I just wanted to announce that this is my 45th cooking video. I, I did not believe that. I actually counted all my videos and this is my 45th one. So I'm just going to keep going because I am cooking anyways and I am enjoying videotaping it so that I can just share these recipes and feed my family and friends. And um, I just need a little bit help with the cleanup. <laughs> right, Kai? <Yeah. laughs> Whether I videotape or not, I'm going to have to cook and clean up. So I'm just getting... Um, Lucky that I get to document it now. So um, this pot looks about pretty similar to the pot that's on the video there, but I'm gonna just bring it up to you. So the chayote is cooking well, and the onions are cooking well, and this is the chicken drumstick. Okay, and again, this is chicken tanola from the motherland. And this is a healing soup, very gingery. I wish I could uh, trans transport this soup to uh, places, but it just gets so messy, and if I don't have an airtight lid, it would just get all over the place. So um, we won't be transfer transporting this anytime soon. I'll just transport my um, goodies. So we are going on 12 minutes now, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to bring it to you a close up. Okay, so here are the healing veggies for my stew. The bitter melon, the tomatoes, the ginger soup. So this is what I really look forward to on a daily, is all these delicious vegetables. And bitter melon is an acquired taste, but I have learned to love it. Okay, and the chicken here is browning well. All right. So this will be cooking about um, 10 more minutes. And then the chicken wings is for the rest of the family. And that is coming along well. And here is a sample of their healing vegetables, the shayoti squash and the tomatoes. And the browning chicken wings. All right. Kai, you want to say goodbye to the camera? Well, thank you for tuning in again and um, allowing us to uh, show you this these delicious recipes. And um, is this your favorite soup, Kai? Yeah. This is your favorite soup? Okay, so um, with some rice? Yeah. All right, okay. Go off to bed now. Thank you for listening. Take care.